Hi, so today we're on this customer's lawn and we're going to be doing some aeration. Now this lawn every single year seems to suffer in the middle and it's always a bit thinner than the areas around the outside. Initially I thought it was where the dog was weeing, which would have an effect, but even so, when the customer's overseeded, the middle has always struggled. So we did come and have a dig a while ago and we found absolutely nothing under there. <clears throat> so it is very much clay soil. What we're going to do, we're going to aerate and the customer's going to put some gypsum and compost onto the lawn. So the gypsum and compost will go down the holes and as they go down the holes, the compost is getting some good organic matter into the ground and the gypsum, gypsum will just help to break up the clay a little bit. And in time, this will encourage earthworm activity and in time that will just start to increase the soil so that it performs a little bit better. So let me just show you what the soil is like. So if we take a sample anywhere in the lawn, we'll just do it here. And as we go down and pull that out, you can see it's just pure, solid, absolute solid clay. So you can imagine when it rains really heavily, the rain just sits on top and it doesn't drain through very easily. So aeration will improve drainage a little bit, but when we get some gypsum and compost into those holes, and the customer's just going to put them into piles and brush them in, that will then get some good stuff into the ground. And if you repeat this over a few years, you're going to be gradually improving the soil. Staying at home, turn off the phone, I will listen to you. You lay in the sheets, you hold on to me like I'm already gone. You'll notice that the bulk of the middle section I went over twice, so we went up and down, and then we've gone that way as well. So we've double aerated the worst part just to improve drainage even further, to be able to get more good stuff into the soil. Now I've just got some corners to do using the manual aerator. So, we've blown everything to that end because the customer's building up that level behind the wooden edging. So it's given us permission to just basically put it all in there, which I'm going to use the leaf grabbers to pick up and put in there. But I'm really pleased. The double aeration means there's lots of holes all over the lawn. So imagine now those holes are soil or compost. So it's not just clay. You've got better drainage, you've got better stuff in the ground, and that's what it's all about. So these are the commercial leaf grabbers. Now, <clears throat> just a case of picking up and putting in. I 
I don't want to be putting too much in these because they're not designed for big heavy weights. They're just designed for leaves. But they do a good job. Right, so that's this lawn, double aerated, um, and it's just literally a big slab of clay. So the main thing is, is trying to improve drainage so that any surface water can drain through and it can act like soil um, better. So in instances like this, it's good to try and just improve the soil that's in there. So you can put topsoil in, you can put compost in, you can put some gypsum in. You can also apply humic acid on a regular basis and over a few years it's going to improve the soil and you'll be amazed literally within a couple of years you've got a far better quality of soil and the grass will perform better and once you've done it there's no going back so if you've got any questions or comments please pop them down below i'm here to help you with your lawns so if you've enjoyed this please give us one of them and consider subscribing if you want to we'll catch you guys on the next one Now every single year, without fail, this one has just basically gone really mossy, about eight foot out, and then thinned out and gone to literally nothing, and just pure moss. Every single winter without fail. The customer has drilled 1300 holes, deep drilled, and he's burnt two drills out doing it, and he's filled the holes with gypsum and compost. And as you can see, this year, there is a little bit of moss, but hardly any. There's just a few bits there, but in general, this is looking pretty good.